All right, Drop Zone enthusiasts, we got another battle report for you today. Uh, we are playing Targets of Opportunity, um, my Shaltari, and we are featuring the PHR. Alan's PHR have come down to play a game today. Uh, neither of us have played against the other's faction yet, so it's going to be a learning experience for all. Uh, we have an objective there, and in the sky rise, we have a third objective in this medium building, one in the building in the center, another in the sky rise on the opposite side, along with one in this large building, and then that medium building is carrying an objective. Um, we will run you down armies following this, and then we will be back as the game begins. Alright, for our first army, we're going to review the PHR half. Alan's going to go down his. Go ahead, Alan. I, I brought the Type 4 Walker, the Hades. It's mm -hmm. pretty much my zone denial heavy duty bastard. Yep. Um... Uh, you see my swarm of uh, <laughs> Neptunes over here to carry this mass. Oh, yeah. PHR is just too slow. We have to have our dropships. Definitely. Rolling with uh, two squad, well, actually four squads of Immortals, mm -hmm. two in each Juno, backed up on a Neptune. Okay. My other info, well, we'll go over to uh, here first. I've got my first battle squad, which is actually more of that. Okay. This is my backfield zone denial. They'll just be walking on, and okay. these will also be driving on. It's sort of the... Run mm -hmm. around, catch what they need to catch. Alrighty. Got my scout squad, which is there to help find objectives. Mm -hmm. Got my other battle squad here, which is there to uh, shoot people full of holes. Right. Backed up by these. Uh, these are min chats, the models, but um, I grabbed uh, I grabbed these instead of my two extra phoboses. Okay. I just put the uh, the new starter kit together. Right. And my big heavy hitters. Be my Odin squad here. These are top two walkers. They are the ones that have the passive saves and the uh, extra damage. Okay. Then I got the uh, command squad here. My Grand Vizier backed up by his two buddies and Inyos. Alrighty. And he's level six, right? Uh, he's the top. Okay. Uh, yep. Yep. Six. Command six. Yep. And I got two Apollos. Mm hmm. These are uh, part of the. I have to actually check my list here. But anyway, they're in one of these squads. Okay. As a support choice. They're kind of my fast mover backfield, hopefully harassing from the rear sort of thing. Okay. I brought a fast mover. Yep. Should be the Athena, probably the best fast mover in the game. Yeah. And Eager to see how that goes. <laughs> that thing will be tough to bring down. I've had bad luck with her. Oh, really? But, uh, hopefully she'll change her. She'll change her attitude. There we go. And I've got my uh, special forces, Siren Corps. Mm -hmm. Keep those uh, keep those dirty little porcupines on us. There you go. In their personal transport. Alrighty. That's pretty much far. All right, there's the PHR for you. Twenty five hundred points. Next up, we got the Shaltari half. Uh, starting with the Court of Elders, we have a Coyote with a Prime War Chief, uh, two Ocelot War Striders, and four Yaris with Light Island Cannons. Um, for the first Sword Point formation, we have two groups of two Tarantulas. Um, the second sword point is five tomahawks and three kukris. Uh, for our infantry, we have the first group is just two groups of two braves, no nothing else in theirs. And the second group is also two groups of two braves, but they also have a totem war spire attached to them. Try to prevent some of the Inyo damage coming in. Um, the war fist formation, this is where I blew all of my points at. I've got two caimans, uh, a dream snare, and two Jaguar War Striders. Oh, uh, what am I forgetting? I think, oh yeah, and then my Spear Tip Formation. I have two bases of Firstborns and two Moriaris with Light Iron Cannons in their group. For my gates, I have a Gaia Heavy Gate, three Eden Medium Gates, four Spirit Light Gates, and then you can barely see them there behind the Ocelots, I've got two uh, Haven Terror Gates. So that is the Shaltari Half. Uh, we will be back with Table, and let you see where we're going from there. Turn one has rolled to an end. Um, Shaltari have deployed across their zone. We put four stands of Braves in here, along with our Kukris and Tomahawks. Uh, the Battle Striders and the Caymans took up the center here. And then we brought in the Totem War Spire on this building and put uh, four stands of Braves in there as well. Um, that one has 10 damage points left. Uh, the Inyos came on down there and did 10 damage points to it. Uh, the Poseidon came on and dropped off the Hades. Got the walkers deploying across the front along with the drones. Um, down here the Ares and the fast movers. These are Apollos down no, here. The Apollos. Apollo okay. Alright, so we've got two of those. And then the, the Phobos AA AA's deployed there and deployed there. 
Um, some more immortals jumped into this building and attempt to take it. The Shaltari left that building at four damage points, so he decided to go ahead and bypass it. Um, we'll be back after turn two. Turn two has come to an end. Not a lot of damage done to either side. Um, we did lose one ocelot. The uh, the big walker moved up and uh, fired his triple cannon there and, and killed one of the ocelots. The ocelot responded by killing one of his little friends in the back, killed one of the Inyos. Um, the Inyos moved over to target this building full of infantry. Um, this was my first activation. These guys found their objective and skedaddled before that building could fall down on them. Um, these guys moved up and fired into this building. Uh, Tomahawks fired here. Um, I think we got, let's see, six damage points from that building, three from this one. So not a ton of damage done as far as building attacking. Um, the tarantulas did move up out of the Gaia and deploy into the center there to swing to which side they needed to be. And we killed one Neptune and uh, one of their, uh, what's, the, what's the medium dropship called? Uh, that would be the Neptune. Neptune. I'm calling them backwards. I killed a drone over here. A mercury. That, that, that Mercury had high hopes. I'm a Neptune now. Uh, so we got one of the drones and we got one of the Neptunes. Uh, he destroyed one of my ocelots and put two damage points in this Jaguar up front. Um, the Yaris took the fire of all four Ares and made their passives and managed to walk out of that one somehow. So, uh, and we did deal one damage point with the Caymans to the big dude, which he's sure to fart some white dust here in a second and fix that problem. So, uh, that's where we're at the, at the end of turn two, and we will be back after turn three has been completed. Turn, what was that, turn three or turn four? Turn three. Turn three. All right, so turn three has come to an end. Uh, the the uh, Sirens uh, found their objective here and uh, scooted back with an underground monorail card. Uh, and they they went ahead and disembarked into the, from that building into their Triton. Uh, these immortals found their objective thanks to the drones, and their theirs is moving off the field back there. Um, I did get my Kukri's moving in hot pursuit. I think it's going to be too little, too late, but we'll see there. Um, I played a call for extraction, brought a gate in here, and dumped some more guys. We did not find this objective, but these two teams swung around here and destroyed the two Apollos. The Apollos had swung to the street and fired on the Kukri's, but missed. Um, he played a drive hack here, which was, it turned out to be a really big play because that kept them from shooting at the uh, Neptune as it tried to leave. So uh, that was a bit that was a good one for him. Uh, the tarantulas fired and did one damage point to that Odin, weren't able to finish him off. These tarantulas and the Caymans were able to destroy the Hades. Uh, moved a bunch of gates up down here and played scout gate drone to bring my firstborn into this building with the immortals. Uh, I think I covered all the cards. We also played an assisted targeting here. We missed a lot with one of the Caymans. Athena came in as well. Oh yeah, and the Athena did come in as well. Knocked some points out of this building. Uh, this building is now half destroyed. Um, so I think that covers everything. I think that's that's where we're at. Um, we will be back after turn four. All right, turn four. Turn four. Turn four is over in the books. Uh, for the cards, played a field repairs here again, put his leg back on for the second time, and he responded. He saw my repair weld and did the same to his guy. We did punch one more hole out of that guy, but he's still living thanks to that. Shot him with the Tomahawks and the Coyote, but could not get it through. Um, Tomahawks traded fire with these guys. We damaged one point on them, but they just couldn't get through our armor eight where they're E7. Uh, they did get that objective off and that objective off, So and uh, the Shaltari found this objective finally and got it off so we're two to two on objectives uh, we went ahead and splashed that building because it's becoming very important at this point uh, the scout gate drone here uh, CQB happened we uh, he rolled horribly he did not roll a single six we killed half the immortals but they passed their fortitude and then here I played another scout gate drone to teleport some guys up which he espionaged which I espionaged so we're apparently playing magic the gathering with blue control decks in addition to what else we were doing um, these level 6 commanders throw a lot of ammo in the command command part of the game. So that's where we're at right now. 2-2. Two to two, uh, Lots of close stuff on objectives going into turn 5. This is going to be a close one. So uh, we will be back after turn 5. Alright everybody, we are back at the end of turn 5. Lots more damage that turn. Uh, some walkers started falling for both sides. Uh, both tarantulas are gone on this end. Uh, one Ares got downed, one got damaged. Uh, three, Ares, three Phobos went down on this end. Um, I tried, I got first activation, couldn't get that objective out, and it was just too much firepower. So that objective collapsed, killing all three brave stands inside. Uh, the Immortals here, Gong showed again, unfortunately. 
and were all destroyed um, with no response to the first one. So the first one do have that objective. And uh, we will be back after turn six to show you how things have finished up. All right, everybody, turn six has come to a close uh, after some crazy shenanigans down here. Uh, the first one did jump out in the street and take the objective. Uh, the Juno that was down here and the Athena and all them flew across it destroyed, destroyed the base that was holding it. Um, at the last second, once his fast movers and AA had gone, went ahead and moved the gate, this spirit gate over. Uh, the guys jumped out of the building and dematerialized through that to carry it out of range of those stealth missile batteries that would have been the last thing to fire at them. Um, a few revenge killings across the table. The Kukri's got wiped out. The Tarantulas drew a ridiculous amount of fire but were somehow able to pull through. Um, that's about it. Super close game comes down at the very end uh, to, let's see, two, four, five to four Sheltari. It doesn't get any closer than that unless you come to a tie and kill points. So super close game, uh, lots of blood, but not nearly as much as we're used to because we, me and him are both used to killing UCM peons and uh, we don't, neither one of us dies quite so easily. So uh, thanks for watching. As always, um, leave, us a, leave us your comments below, your thoughts on the game, what we could have done different, play armchair quarterback for a little while. And uh, we thank you for the views. Uh, we'll have after action reports and army lists on the blog as always. And uh, give us a subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you next time.